When you look back in November, uh, what is it that you hope to have improved in your own instruction between now and then? How will things be better for you as an instructor? What's your goal for improving uh, your pedagogy, your role as an instructor uh, over the coming semester? And I'll start with Janet. It's a hard question. I think I'm one thing that I am, as I'm starting to sometimes think about my September classes, while I'm currently teaching the summer ones, is how to build in that routine interaction with students outside of the classroom because in the classroom it's it's easy we're used to that we know how to ask questions and get some kind of immediate feedback but how can I make sure that I'm, I'm checking in and responding to them uh, throughout the term that's interesting so it's a another dialogue theme but it's not necessarily a dialogue on the basis of assessment feedback or in the context of the content delivery through the course, but instead just having a kind of uh, uh, a relationship that goes beyond the course itself so that you know each other's people. Is that a fair summary? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very cool. What about you, Fiona? What does November Fiona look like that's different from today's? So what I'm doing in the fall is I'm actually, I'm coordinating uh, a big, uh, calc course and I'm teaching the online part but I'm coordinating the on-campus part so it's actually just this crazy uh overwhelming task that I'm trying to sort of bring a little bit of both into this world but I think something that I want to do for students as well as instructors is to try to create some flexibility like I think this is something that universities were missing big time pre-pandemic if things were so rigid uh, for both students and for faculty. So, I mean, I've thought about, okay, for the on-campus, the students want to be there. Let's have paper assessments, every lecture. And then I started pulling back on that thing. That is, that's putting a lot of pressure on what if someone's kid is sick? What if somebody is sick? What if all of these issues that we've now come to, to learn about students and the teachers, there are things going on in their lives. So, I'm trying to make sure that I have a, a remote component. Um, what that looks like right now, I'm not completely sure, but that's really top of mind for me is um, be flexible and be empathetic to both students and to faculty. What about you, Sean? What does November 2021, Sean, look, look like that's different from? Um, I Compared to last year, I'm hoping that um, I do a little bit less of the talking in my classes. Um, it's easy for me, I, especially with say calculus, I can, I can stand with zero preparation, I can stand there and talk about calculus for 75 minutes and, and the students will be like, oh, that was great, we learned. I'm like, you didn't really learn. I mean, you listen to me talk, I don't know how much you actually absorb, but uh, I, I've been trying to slowly shift, you know, the, the focus away from me and, and onto the students and the work that they're doing. And, and I always say that I'm going to do it better next time around. And I, I always kind of slide back a little bit on it. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm teaching, Jenna and I, both of us are teaching multi-section classes where one of the sections is online and another is in person and so we have to think about how do we how do i design a class that works in both formats and 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 i'm kind of leaning toward you know despite maybe what ubc might say i like the design should focus on the online first you know design something that works for online um there might be some things that are a little bit different in person i mean aside from the meeting space um but but make sure that things work for the online students first and you know like even going forward, I mean, I'm in a working group where we've been talking about the fact that like, no, let's not go back to the way things were, um, because we have a lot of evidence that there is, for pretty much any scenario, there is some form of blended learning that is way better than just fully in person, you know, <laughs> uh, like lecture based, whatever you're doing, like, that's not the best way to get the students to learn. Um, and, and, you know, how do we convince our colleagues that you know there are ways to make this better for everyone you know figuring out what parts of your course work best online which parts work in person and how do you design it so hey if you suddenly have to shift online again 
you can make that transition and it's not quite so painful. You know, how do you accommodate students? Like, you know, it used to be like if, if a student was sick for a week, we, we almost didn't even give a damn. We were like, oh, too bad, buddy. Uh, hope somebody gives you the notes, right? Like, no, we, we should maybe be doing something to help those students and accommodate them, right? And and yeah, and like the, these points of like flexibility and, and empathy are big ones, right? I mean, there is, um, there's this big Gallup study that they did this year where they were like, oh, you know, um, students who feel like their their instructors cared about them had these like I far better, audio. you know, They're outcomes. Okay, um, you know, they're like, not and not just their like learning outcomes, but even just their like sense of well-being was better if they thought that their profs cared about them. Um, unfortunately, the same study found that like over a four-year degree, it was something like only a quarter of students felt they had one prof that cared about them as a person, uh, which is <laughs> wow. uh, really sad. <laughs> well, as I, I think we about the question, better. thank you. As I think about the question that I posed, I often recall how enthusiastic I am in. August when I'm writing the syllabus and then the incredible energy that I bring for September and the first half of October and then by November I'm just like tired Jim and not sure I can make it to December so I guess I, I, I'm not uh, I'm on leave next semester so I'm not going to be teaching but if I weren't I think one of my goals would be to find a way to maintain the early semester momentum all the way through the end of November 